Today we're going to be talking about the movie The Rock and the chemistry behind Nerve Agents and more specifically BX. I'm an agent with the uh, F FBI. I'm Stanley Goodsby. But of course you are. At least he got his name right. Now, all that stands between a city and a disaster. The power of this chemical is way beyond anything you can imagine. That's why you're coming with us. Is a man who's never seen combat. You're a chemical freak. <laughs> The Rock was released in 1996, starring Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery. The movie is about how a group of rogue US Marines sees a stockpile of the VX nerve agent and plan to use them against San Francisco City unless the government pays them $100 billion. Today we're going to be learning about nerve agents, why they are so deadly and the chemistry behind their services, VX gas in particular. So what exactly is a nerve agent? Well, nerve agents are a group of organophosphates which when in contact with, cause a disruption between the nerves which carry electrical impulses from the brain to our organs. Organophosphates consist of a phosphorus oxygen double bond, as you can see there, and three different groups which are also organic, which vary throughout the different nerve agents. The first G-series nerve agents were synthesized by Dr. Gerhard Schrader before and during World War II and the more recent V-series nerve agents were discovered in Britain in the 1950s by the UK military intelligence. Nerve gases can be dispersed from missiles, rockets, bombs, howitzer shells, spray tanks, landmines and other large munitions. This means that they are very flexible and can be released from remote locations as planned in the movie The Rock. This flexibility only makes nerve agents more deadly. Furthermore, nerve agents are often also used as insecticides. So why are nerve agents so toxic? Well, they work by the inactivation of the acetylcholinesterase enzyme within the body. This causes the concentration of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine to build up and cause persistent uncontrolled stimulation of nerves, rapidly leading to death if not treated immediately. Furthermore, Due to the very low volatility of nerve agents, they tend to stay on skin clothes and other materials very well, making it hard to remove contamination. VX was discovered in 1954 by, the, by British scientists and it is the most toxic of the nerve agents. This is shown in this table to the left, which uh, shows a lethal dose that is required to kill 50% of the contaminated population when uh, contaminated through the skin. So early G-series uh, nerve agents, as you can see here, to between 1 and 2 grams to kill an average 70 kilogram man. Whereas VX gas only requires 10 milligrams. In comparison, that is 100 times less than GA nerve agent. And compared to an estimated LD50 of caffeine, which is 80 grams, VX is extremely lethal. You can see here that... Uh, VX has the organophosphate back backbone, so there's the phosphorus oxygen double bond and the three different groups. One of them being a uh, methyl group, a ethoxy group, and then here is a large organic group with the formula, as you can see there, which also contains a sulfur atom as well. Whilst in the movie, VX is shown as a green liquid, however it is actually colourless in its pure state. So today we're going to have a look at a simplified reaction scheme for the VX nerve gas. First, methyl phosphorus dichloride, as you can see there, is reacted with ethanol to form a diester. The ethanol there substitutes on the uh, chlorine atoms of the uh, methyl phosphorus dichloride. So as you can see, some chlorine atoms are lost and the ethanol groups gain there. Then we undergo what is known as a transesterification reaction, where the organic group of the ester, which you can see there is replaced by this organic alcohol to form this molecule. Finally, the molecule is reacted with sulfur to create a phosphorus sulfur, phosphorus sulfur double bond, which you can see there. And then at 70 degrees, the molecule isomerizes when the sulfur and oxygen atoms essentially swap around to form the final structure, which you can see there the difference between the oxygen and the sulfur, you can see.